Good evening Hackology and welcome to another episode. I'm really happy to have some free time on my hands now and uh, to be able to uh, do a few more videos with you guys, uh, bring you up to speed on what I've been working on and also show you some really cool mods to th some stuff that you might like. So tonight's uh, video is a nice easy one to break me back into doing the videos and get back into the flow of things. This is the Spectrum DX4E transmitter. It's the default radio for a few um, models. It comes with the MCPX helicopter. And what I'm going to show you tonight is how to mod it. Because this is uh, apparently being designed for aircraft and the notches on the stick. Um, are not good for flying helicopters if you're trying to maintain a level hover with your helicopter. It's very difficult with these notches in. So I'm just going to show you how to mod this one to. Um, make it nice and smooth. So, um, before I get started, I'm gonna move the camera and video everything so you can check it out. Okay, so for this mod, you're going to need um, a Phillips screwdriver. And um, I'm going to try this time a lollipop stick because I modified it yesterday. I put a piece of zip tie in there because it's a nice smooth nylon and um, yeah it was far too smooth and the stick moved about too much. So what I've done is I've set it back to how it was and you can hear these here. Uh, yeah, ding 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 ding. Um, so we're going to make this nice and smooth. So what you're going to need to do is flip your transmitter over. You can take the batteries out if you like. Um, you should really but I'm not going to. So. Just open up the back of this. Careful you don't push down too hard on it because of the um, sticks on the front and you don't want to damage those. Or I suggest not doing it on a table and holding onto the controller. So, once you're done, put your screws aside. And then lift the back of the controller like this. And what you're looking for is this little metal bit here. This is the bit that's making the clicking. And what you've got to do is take the screw off. And then I'm just going to take this piece of lollipop stick. A lollipop stick. I don't know whether this is going to be the, the, the best best type of wood to use for it. But I suppose we can give it a go. And just not tighten the, uh, the screw down in that too tight. Right, there we go. That is better. So, Control the back in shot, and then I'm going to put the screw through this hole. Tighten this down, just says it starts pulling onto this, and it's not going to go anywhere if I drop the controller. So, I would say that is probably just about right. When you're done, make sure the aerial seat is properly back in here, and that this little grey wire is back in there. Now, let's see how easy this goes back on. Just make sure all the cables are out of the way, because you don't want to break anything when you put the chopping cables off and put the top back on. Okay, and then first of all, These two bits up here in the handle, like that, and then just squeeze. Okay, let's pop the screws back in. I have 
actually left this piece of metal out and what I did um, yesterday was to um, get some insulation tape and just tape it to the inside of the controller so that if I wanted to put it back to how it was um, it was always in the controller and I didn't lose it but oh well I forgot to do that today so And just tighten these down. Don't tighten them, don't over tighten them because you'll snap the plastic pins just when they start pulling. Just stop. And uh, there we go. A nice, smooth, non um, sticky um, throttle stick that you can actually position anywhere and, and not have it um, click up or down so you can get a nice, good hover on. So, um, that's been Hackology. I mean, the stick still sticks as well. There's enough friction to, to hold it in place. It's not going to just flap about. That's been Hackology. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you liked it, please subscribe. We've got loads of cool techie videos. And uh, yeah, I should be back really, really soon with some more stuff and some more code and some more coolness. Peace, you guys. Catch you soon.